Welcome back to Level Up. We've got a lot of questions about our credits animation and today in this video we will share with you our secret of how it was made. First part of the animation is similar to the beginning of our intro. If you want to see the tutorial about the intro video, click on the link above. Okay, let's draw a rectangle, hold shift to maintain a good ratio, then go to the Format tab and change Height and Width to 0.2 inches. Or you can also type 0.5 centimeters and hit Enter. Next, click on the Align button and select Align Center. Hold Ctrl and Shift together, click and drag to create a copy and make sure it's perfectly aligned to the left side of the original square. I'm going to stretch it now so it goes a little bit outside of the slide area and change the color to match the background. I'm going to use the eyedropper. In the Format tab, change the height of it to 4.72 inches or 12 centimeters. Next, right click on the shape and select Sand to Back. Our first slide is ready. Now we're going to duplicate it, so right click on the thumbnail and select Duplicate Slide. And do it one more time, so in total we are going to have three slides. Then go to the first slide, select the yellow square, hold Shift and move it outside of the slide area. Next, go to the third slide, select the yellow rectangle, go to the Format tab and in the hide box type 4.72 inches. Great! Now we have to create a text box. So click and drag and type any text that you want. Then select it all and change the font to more bold one. And also I'm going to increase the font size to 70. Now right click on the text box and send it to back. Hold Shift and move it to the left side so it will be outside of our slide area. Click on slide number 3 and press Ctrl D twice to duplicate the slide two times. Now go to slide number 4, select the text box, hold Shift and move it to the right. Then select the yellow and the dark rectangle, hold Shift and move it a little bit to the left to uncover the text. I will adjust it a little bit to make sure that the text is visible and also well aligned on the slide. On slide number 5, we have to create the text boxes that will come out from that yellow bar. I will type in the first one equal sign, lorem, and 2 in parentheses. Let's remove the last enter and adjust it. I'll also make sure it's middle aligned with the yellow rectangle. This text, I want to be right aligned, so I'll change it here, or you can also press Ctrl R. Then hold Shift and Ctrl and click and drag to create a copy of it on the right side of the yellow bar. And then left align this text by pressing Ctrl L. Just to make it easy to realize which text is which, I would change the color of it to blue. Now let's open Selection Pane by going to Select and Selection Pane and change the name of those boxes. So this one is Original Right and the other Original Left. And now it's time for a big reveal. In order to have both text boxes come from this bar at the same time, we need to use kind of a masking effect. That's why instead of using a text boxes, we would have to change them into images. To do that, select the text box, copy it, Ctrl C, and right click and paste as an image. Let's move it to the side and align it a little bit more. And then repeat the same steps with the blue text. Ctrl C and paste as an image. Okay, looks good. No worries, we'll align it later. I do want to keep original text boxes in case there is any change to the text. So instead of deleting them, I would just hide them in our selection pane. Leave the pictures visible and hide the original text boxes. Now let's align our images. Select both images and the yellow bar. Go to Arrange, Align, and Align Middle. 
Then deselect the yellow bar, group images by pressing Ctrl G, go to arrange align and align center. Now press Ctrl Shift G to ungroup. Select the white text, go to the format tab and click on crop button. Then adjust the right side of the crop area to snap to the side of the yellow bar. Make sure clicking on this black bar instead of the dot. We have to do the same with the blue text, but to make it faster, simply right click on the picture and select crop. Then click and drag the left side of the crop area to snap to the side of the yellow bar. Let's close this and duplicate the slide. Then go to slide number five, right click on the image and select crop. Now the fun part will happen. Hold shift and click and drag the text till it disappears from the cropped window area. And then right click on the blue text and select crop. Hold shift and click and drag it to the left till it snaps to this yellow bar. Now it looks like both text boxes are invisible. Next step, select slide number five, copy it, control C, and paste it at the end of the file. So that was the whole trick to get the text or other objects appear from this bar. Isn't it cool? You can use it also for any other objects. Right now we're working on a video to show you other creative ways of how you can use this trick. But we are not done yet. We still have to make the ending of the animation and of course apply morph. So now go to slide number two, copy and paste it at the end of the file, then select both the big dark rectangle and the yellow square, go to arrange, align and bottom align, then duplicate the slide and hold shift, click and drag the square to the outside of the slide. Now it's time to apply morph. Click on any slide on the left panel, press Ctrl A to select all, go to transitions tab and click on morph. It's moving really slow, so let's adjust the duration to 0.4 and check the box to advance slide after 0 seconds. One more adjustment. Click on slide number 4, then hold Ctrl key and click on slide number 6. Then change the after time to 2 seconds to display it on the screen for a longer time. You can adjust it however you want to keep a longer or shorter time on the screen. And we're all done. Let's check the effect. That looks really cool. I can't wait to show you more effects that you can achieve with this trick. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, maybe leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.